Hey everybody. So, uh, name's Aaron Elton, and uh, kind of known as the Moringa Man, or I'm going to be known as the Moringa Man because over the last five years, with the help of a lot of my friends and family and some amazing investors, we uh, have built the only Q Mark certified Moringa powder production facility in the country in Uganda. Moringa has a big reputation in Uganda, has a negative reputation from a farmer's perspective because it was originally promoted about 10 years ago and uh, nobody really understood what to do with it post-harvest. They treated it like maize or whatever and um, you know people messed around with the final product by adding grass and all kinds of negative stories that came out from when they did a countrywide promotion uh, for foreign markets and it was supposed to be this big boom crop and everybody cries about it now uh, so yeah 10 years later um, five years into our project we finally get Q mark certified we have one of the highest quality powders in the world which is an anti malnutrition powder and uh, it is a seven between five to seven billion <laughs> market globally not only just the powder but also the seeds the leaves the flowers the roots primarily the seed and the and the leaf though however are the ones that have the big medicinal properties the seed produces a wonderful oil the leaves produce a wonderful powder you put this in your milkshake in the morning you put it in your porridge you put it in your kids you know sauce when they're eating dinner you just got to get one teaspoon a day into you to start feeling the benefits of moringa which has over 96 vitamins and minerals in high quantity has an, a complete amino acid profile which means it has all nine of your essential amino acids plus many more I think it's around uh, close to 20 amino acids in total it's got a 30% crude protein crude protein <laughs> uh, content making it one of the most incredible protein sources for vegans and Basically, in Ayurvedic medicine, they claim uh, that it can cure or has been known to cure over 250 diseases. Um, and really what that is, is that's a testament to the human body and the ability that our body has when it's given what it needs in our diet to optimize its functionalities and its functions. Um, how powerful it is at fighting off disease and how powerful it is at healing itself and realistically speaking when we look at the world today we look at the trends why is moringa powder trending so hard and why is it that even now still in the beginning a lot of people you know don't know what it is well the second question is obvious people don't know what it is because it's just starting to be understood by the Western world it's been in India for over 3,000 years. Came down from the Himalaya region, apparently, and you know, exported itself out with the British Empire, taking all the all the natives of that territory to other places and do their thing with uh, colonialism. And here we have now the solution to malnutrition, one of the major solutions that's available to us. And by fixing malnutrition, you're able to fix so many other problems in society the list goes on and on and on so my whole career has been centered around deforestation and the long list of problems of what's pending if we continue to strip our planet of the trees and the forests and the biodiversity that they represent losing the soil quality losing the soils themselves, losing the groundwater table. These are all things that have a negative domino effect on humanity. And Moringa is one of those beautiful things beside permaculture uh, that works within the, the, the concept of regenerative agroforestry and produces a primary staple product. Like this will become a staple food. Uh, my objective is that every household in the world should have a bag or a, or a container of fresh moringa every month in it okay I, I, that's a big goal 
it sounds silly, but you know, if I could do it, then that's what we're going to aim for. You know, even if we get to 10% of the households in the world, our, our investors will be happy. I'll be super happy when every household in the world, you know, has it. Of course, I'd be super happy just to have 1%. It's not what this video is about. I'm getting on a side tangent here. When you look at the benefits that come about by fixing malnutrition, which just like deforestation has all these cascading negative effects on society, malnutrition causes stunting in children. One third of the population in a country like Uganda are stunted. They're unable to participate on a higher level with respect to the types of jobs that are required to advance society and to create true wealth for themselves and their future and their family, okay? So they become a bit of a burden on society in the sense that they're really incapable of taking on those jobs, which a modern society requires its people to do. This is why countries are wealthy and healthy, is because they're well-educated and they're well-fed, okay? So you have countries like Uganda where the education system is still lagging behind and you have one third of the, of the population of children are being stunted, stunted from malnutrition. And you have that on top of the deforestation effect that's going on and you've got a, you've got a perfect storm for a failed state essentially or a semi-failed state whereby major chunks of society will continue to wallow in poverty. They will continue to cycle the same problems from generation to generation because they are not being given and they are not being taught and they are not being activated on the right solutions, okay? One of which is Moringa powder in their diet. And this is something that should have happened 50 years ago. It, it should have happened... You can imagine if the colonials came over and they really listened to the to the, the, the Indians who brought the the Ayurvedic uh, community, who brought the, the, the Moringa tree with them when they were imported into Africa. Imagine if they actually learned from them and said, Hey, you know what, we've got this tree and we've got all this issue with our with our people, with our slaves in many cases, where they're not able to work very well and, and you know, they're kind of dying and getting sick all the time give them moringa and you would you would even have a better labor force so from even like that disgusting colonial perspective they could have improved their labor with moringa power powder and now you look at modern society where we have a free society the same rule applies if you want a better society you want stronger workers you want you want people not getting sick so much you're going to you're going to give them things like Moringa powder in order so that they actually can live and work well, right? Hi, how are you? Press the button. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, you got me. No. <laughs> Just getting checked to go into my office. Yeah, we're going to we're going to now check your temperature every time you go into a place because there's a flu virus going around that uh half the people who get it don't even show temperature so we're just going to do a benign asinine test to see whether or not you have a temperature whether or not you can come into the facility absolutely a joke such a joke so that's that's my little video today this morning that's my little drive to drive to work morning talk and uh, I'm going to go into the office now and I'm going to continue working on the marketing strategies and the campaigns to get Moringa powder into every single supermarket and every single household in Africa in an affordable way. And we're going to end malnutrition right here. Kill it in its tracks with every kid, every person that we put on Moringa powder. We got to stop these big problems in their tracks and break the cycle of poverty work with us. My name is Aaron Elton. I'm working with Navio and Navcorp. This is Priceless Farms. This is the Ventry Life Initiative. This is the Moringa for Kids Initiative. And uh, yeah, check us out. Dig deep and uh, buy Moringa.